We had the opportunity to fly out my son Michael and his girlfriend Trinity to North Carolina during the holiday break. We visited family, went on a short hike, ate fabulous pizza at Mellow Mushroom, aggressively raced on go-karts, and even took in a meal that had a robot assistant server. But we couldn't miss sharing with you what we visited a day later in early January. I'm gonna fall. If you ruin a lantern, that'd be really funny. We stepped into a mesmerizing world of 200 foot dragons and dazzling lights at the Chinese Lantern Festival in Cary, North Carolina. Laura gets attracted by blinky light. I do. Yeah. They call them sea urchins. Sparkly sea urchins. <laughs> Scaring little children. Everything you see from the 2,500 lanterns where we entered and over 50 displays was handcrafted by more than 25 Chinese artisans. Several nightly stage performances also showcase martial arts and traditional dance. If you're near Raleigh in mid-November to mid-January, make sure to add this to your bucket list. That was satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are! Okay, that is pretty cool. <laughs> this is so cool! The main goal of this mini trip was for Trinity to experience something new, and she had never been to the Atlantic Ocean. So, a road trip to Atlantic Beach was in order. And you can't visit Atlantic Beach without heading over to Fort Macon. Keeps on going. Bonus, there are some pretty nice beach areas just outside of the fort. Unfortunately, our time at Atlantic Beach was quite short since a large storm was heading in that evening. But we got to experience just a peek at what oh Mother Nature God. could bring. And of course we couldn't forget the food. We went to a fresh seafood restaurant, had lunch to taste North Carolina barbecue, and even made them drink cheer wine at the local Sheets gas station. I don't think you can get more North Carolina than that. Although their trip was short, we were thrilled to share our love of travel and visiting fun locations with them. And this was special to share something new with Trinity as well. They're so pretty. They really are. But it's time to get back to work on our camper with some much needed maintenance and upgrades. Well, still painting again. I have a couple of coats done on the bathroom and working on the living room now. Our generator works fine. It's just we have some bad tool lines. Yeah, this thing's freaking dangerous. Let's check the beetle. <laughs> 